Okay, these are the water heaters, and first things I'm seeing is daylight around the flue. This is the fresh air induction. Okay, combustible air, or actually this high, this should be the um, makeup air. We'd get our fresh air from someplace down here. Okay, we shouldn't have bare light bulbs in clothes closets and closets and uh, garages and mechanical closets. But we're seeing daylight around the flues. If daylight can get in, water can get in. So uh, we got these flues. Now these flues are very interesting. If you look down here in the safety pan, for example, look down here in the safety pan, for example, that's the color of the insulation. Look down there, that's the color of the insulation. We come up here, we get this nice brown color, even a burnt color. That's because this is all oxidizing. See, when you have a spray foam attic, it is encapsulated. Okay, no air gets in, no air gets out. Now we've compromised the insulation system by bringing a combustible air vent in here. Okay, this is supposed to be sealed. A sealed attic. A sealed enclosed attic. That's what it's supposed to be. And that's what it's not. Okay, because all these compromises in the seal, including by design. Now we come in here and we've installed two Bradford white water heaters. They appear to be original to the construction. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Except that it was constructed nine years ago. Water heaters have a ten year service life average. So these being original to the structure, these water heaters have done just about everything we would expect them to do. These water heaters are not efficient, energy efficient. They should be 90% energy efficient to be installed in an enclosed attic. That would be a PVC pipes that come up with concentric piping that brings its own combustible air in and an exhaust and everything is handled through these pipes which these water heaters don't have. These are conventional water heaters with the metal flues and they are radiating heat and this heat is burning your insulation. That's what's happening. Okay. Then over here on our temperature pressure relief valves they're supposed to be insulated. Our water supply piping coming to the water heaters okay to the water heaters 18 inches on the cold side and the entire hot side run should have been insulated should have been insulated temperature pressure relief valve should be insulated now I'm not going to open these because I can't see everywhere they go I'm not going to open these because they're over three years old and we're concerned about mineral deposits causing them not to reset I'm not going to open these because they should have been replaced already now this piping also this piping should have been insulated uh, the TMP valves not the piping itself I apologize but this piping should have an air gap in the same room as the water heaters see the Dallas and the uniform plumbing code should have an air gap on this piping in the same room as the water heaters one two three two three four five I'm counting five bins on these in the same room. We haven't even gone through the floor. We haven't even gone outside. I don't even know how they terminate. There's over five bins. It's mathematically impossible for there to be fewer than five 90 degree bins on the temperature pressure relief valves. So they should have had, you got too many bins on those. So we move on down. We've got our data plates. It's two 50 gallon water heaters. Two 50 gallon water heaters, and since the return, since we have a pump which ha should have a connector right there for the electrical, well, we got a circulating pump that brings water and it keeps circulating water through the house. So these might not have originally been installed in tandem, but because of the design of the circulating pump, they've now become a tandem system, some kind of a, a mixture. Got a little rust forming on our edge right there. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. And, you know, if these haven't been replaced in three years, you know, Dollars Donuts, I do not do. Well, one thing, I'm not seeing unions. I don't see dielectric unions. 
and uh, sacrificial anodes are beyond the scope of this inspection. That's where they go right there. They're supposed to be replaced about every three years. When this is replaced about every three years, those haven't been replaced. These haven't been replaced. We do not have dielectric unions on our plumbing coming to the piping. Uh, we got corrosion that's beginning to form here on our check valve. I'm not seeing care and use manuals. I'm not seeing care and use manuals. What else am I seeing? I'm seeing a lot of debris in the safety pan. So we got debris in our safety pan as well. Oh, well, and here it is. There's our combustible air coming from the living space. Okay. From the living space to our enclosed attic. Which, honestly, that might not be the most horrible thing I've ever seen. Um, because the enclosed attic space is supposed to be part of the living space. So now we've come in here and, and we've you know it's part of it you know uh, you're not going to see insulation around the light fixtures okay so um, that's probably not the most horrible arrangement I've seen speaking from ignorance of this particular application um, this insulation right here was installed backwards okay this is the water heater closet this can get humid we could have water okay this is a this is a vapor barrier the vapor barrier is supposed to be turned around this insulation has been installed backwards the vapor barrier is supposed to be next to the living space and the nice fluffy part is supposed to be close to the attic space and I get it people coming in here and working you don't want insulation on your forearms or whatever I understand those things but I also understand how it's supposed to be done and this insulation was installed backwards so what did we learn we learned that we've got the wrong type of water heaters in here and they're old we learned that we got air gaps we learned that our insulation has been compromised and, and speaking of insulation I mean our excuse me we learned that our roof covering has been compromised but speaking of insulation this insulation has been compromised too this insulation when the water heaters are taken out all this insulation should be taken out and and, and done right when the correct water heaters are installed, this insulation should be corrected as well. I think I got it off. Or did I? Okay, this is our circulating pump. It's water. Are you GFCI protected? No? No GFCI in the water heater closet? <laughs> 